Health equity is defined as each person in society having an equal opportunity for health. The WHO defines the social determinants of health as conditions in which people are born, grow, work, live, and age, and the wider set of forces and systems shaping the conditions of daily life. These forces include economic policies and systems, development agendas, social norms, social policies, and political systems. The social determinants of health are sometimes a secondary thought when dealing with a patient's primary or presenting health problem. However, to provide optimal care and achieve optimal health, the social determinants must be considered in all patients and special consideration given to certain populations of patients, as they may be at more risk for adverse health outcomes. For example, poverty is not just about how much money you make. Poverty is a condition of a person who lacks the resources, means, opportunities, and power to acquire and maintain economic self-sufficiency or to integrate into and participate in society. As medical professionals, we must screen for poverty in other situations that may make our patients more vulnerable. Here are a few groups and social situations to watch out for. For example, in First Nations, Inuit, and Métis, you might screen for mental health issues, residential school history, truth and reconciliation, Jordan's principle, traditional health care practices, federal funding practices. In global health and immigration, we must be aware of refugee versus immigrant status, language barriers, cultural sensitivity, traditional health care practices, federal funding practices, travel and disease migration, and resistance patterns. In people with disabilities, be aware of accessibility, coverage and cost of equipment and services, and planning for the future. Homelessness and inadequate housing and poverty issues might include mental health and substance abuse, food insecurity and food deserts, access to green space and safe play, poor economic growth and opportunity, and the lack of a living wage. We must consider some unique patients at the extremes of age, including preconception and perinatal care, early childhood development, literacy challenges, seniors, and end-of-life care. And finally, in the LBGTQ population, screen for violence, mental health, support networks, and social inclusion. In general, it is important to ask patients about these factors and create an open and safe environment to discuss their practices and beliefs.